Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and today I'm speaking to John Elkins of First Data. Now, John, First Data has been around for about 40 years, but how is 2013 really a new era for the company? Well, it's interesting you say that because, uh, yes, First Data has been around for 40 years, and probably 30 of those 40 years has not seen a tremendous amount of innovation in the payments industry. Certainly, we've uh, done innovation uh, in the card and processing business, but I think you're seeing a transformation in the whole payments ecosystem. And so, 13 is an interesting period in time because we're seeing the confluence of a number of trends that's creating a lot of innovation, particularly around the merchant and consumer end of the value chain. So, there's a acceleration, if you will, in the amount of uh, innovation taking place. First Data, as part of a response to that, has a new CEO that joined in uh, April of 2013, Frank Bizignano, that has a tremendous experience in transforming organizations. And so even though we're 40 years old and a large organization, our sense is that because of the amount of change taking place, we have to be much more nimble we have to execute much more quickly, and we have to act almost like a startup. So while we have 27,000 associates around the world, we will more and more be acting like a startup, a lot like the kind of innovation that's taking place in Silicon Valley, and our need to partner with those companies will be evidence of how we're gonna move much more quickly. So, I mean, how important are things like collaboration to the growth of a company like First Data? Well, look, I think collaborating is going to be more and more important to First Data because you can't just do everything. You know, we have very uh, good strengths and a tremendous asset base of customers and clients around the world. You know, six and a half million merchants. We have hundreds of thousands of financial institutions that partner with us. But at the same time, we recognize that with all the innovation that's taking place, we need to collaborate and partner with different parts of the value chain. So just recently, for example, we announced a partnership with Obether for EMV in the United States. Our client base and our ability to deliver EMV with some of their technology will be a very important uh, way that we'll execute against a great opportunity in the United States for both Obether and for First Data. For example, we've just uh, recently purchased a company called Clover where we have uh, together developed a whole new point of sale system that's an open architecture, that's app-based, that actually responds to this ecosystem that I was describing. Along with that, we're just partnering with a company called Perco for loyalty and rewards that will become a part of that ecosystem. So our sense is that while we've got great customers and uh, a great business around the world, we still need to partner with other companies too, particularly in the area of technology where it's moving very quickly and in some cases it's easier for us to partner than necessarily develop everything ourselves. So you mentioned a, a few of your partnerships. You know, what, what are some of the strategies that First Data uses to find a partner? You know, what, what are you looking for? So it's a very good question and we are very diligent about the kind of organizations that we look at. For example, in assessing the best partners for the new point of sale, the MPOS that we've been talking about, we valued and looked at over 60 partners that had some kind of solution. We ended up with Perka uh, and Clover in these cases, not just because they had the best technology, because they had the same vision as we did of what the end state of the payments industry is going to be. And then of course there's a sort of a personality and a way of doing business that comes into that as well. So there's very much a people part that has to be there on top of the technical competency and their view of the market. So those three things are some of the criteria that we look at when we're evaluating partnerships.